Hi there, this is recently released AI and feature rich Huskylens 2 from DF Robot. This is a Pro Max version of Huskylens 1. It is powered by the new Kentrite K230 processor. It can do 6 Tera operations per second, which is perfect for AI applications. It comes with camera, touch display, mic, speaker, RGB LED, etc. That means you don't want to add any extra modules to build a AI or ML projects. Now in this video, let's see the complete details of this DF robot Husky Lens 2. So the Husky Lens 2 comes in this box. As always, DF robot packing is top notch. In the pack, there is Husky Lens 2, a power extension module, some nuts, bolts, and bracket for attaching Husky Lens. Finally, some gravity connectors. Here is the Husky Lens 2, which is slightly bigger than the previous Husky Lens and looks like a GoPro camera. The body is made with some alloy or metal. Now let's remove the back cover and let's see what's inside. Here you can see the Kentrite K230 processor, which is powerful to run AI models and algorithms. It's a 1.6 GHz dual core processor and it can operate 6 Tera operations per second, which is super fast for a development board. The Husky Lens 2 comes with MCP service, that is large language models can run accurately. For example, Husky Lens not only detect the person, but also precisely identify who it is. Here we have a removal Wi-Fi card which gives the Wi-Fi connectivity to Husky Lens. The back cover also acts as a heatsink for the processor. This 2MP camera is iconic because the camera module can be replaced with other lens modules like microscopic, manual focusing, night vision, etc. Then it has mic, RGB LED, speaker, flashlight, TF card slot, etc. On the bottom side, we have the USB Type-C for power and updating firmware. Also, it has a gravity connector for connecting external modules like Arduino or ESP32. It can be used as UART and I2C. Finally, the display. It's a 2.4-inch IPS capacitive touch display with 640x480 resolution. After powering the board, you can see the display. Touch sensitivity is smooth. And here are the built-in AI models. There are object detection, object tracking, line tracking, face recognition, etc. It's very easy to use these models. Like if you want to save a face, just place the plus point to the face and click the button. That's it. To track an object, just select the object in the display and that's it. I'm not explaining all the models here because a well-written article available in the tutorial section of DF Robot with the screenshots and images, so check it out. Here let's build a gesture control LED. For that we need to chain Husky Lens first. We need two gestures to control the LED. First is a closed hand, so place the hand with a closed position and press the button. It will save it as ID1. Next open position and save it as ID2. Now you can see the Husky Lens can detect the two gestures. To control the LED, we need an external controller. Here I am using the Arduino Nano. So I connected the gravity connector to Husky Lens and the TX and RX pins to D10 and D11. Now in the Husky Lens settings, we need to select the protocol type as Serial 9600. Now go to the DF Robot site and download the Husky Lens 2 library and install it. Here is the code for the gesture control LED. I just modified the example code. The logic is very simple. Husky Lens will send the detected ID via URT to Arduino. Arduino will read that ID and control the LED. That is, when the Husky Lens sees the open hand, it will send ID1 to Arduino. Arduino will turn on the LED when ID1 is available. You can see the working here. So in brief, it's a easy to use little power pack with lots of built-in AI models from DF Robot. The built-in camera, mic, speaker, RGB LED gives extra points to Husky Lens 2. You can find the product link and other details from video description. So that's it for today. Hope you got some ideas about Husky Lens 2. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.